Welcome back to AP Pre- Oh my goodness, this topic is really long. Let's go already. So, trigonometry. Here we go. Trig kind of has the start set up here with a circle. Putting a graph into the circle, we can start at the angle 0 degrees, then 90, 180, 270, and 360. In this course, we will be working with a new angle measure known as radians. The entire circle is equal to 2 pi radians, meaning 180 degrees is pi, 90 degrees is pi over 2, and 270 degrees is 3 pi over 2. This would mean the conversion of degrees to radians would be this. Now that we have this start set up, the trig idea goes something like this. If you make an angle in the circle, you are creating a terminal side equal to the radius of the circle, or r. You have the initial side, which is just the x-axis, and an angle called theta. The terminal ray will keep going forever, but where it intersects the circle, it makes a point. We call that point, point p. The coordinates of point p are x, y. A unit circle is not complex, it simply means the same exact circle when the radius is equal to 1. Now if we introduce sine, cosine, and tangent, we see they also function differently on the circle. Sine deals with the vertical displacement, which is y divided by the radius r. In the unit circle, the radius is 1, making sine the y y coordinate. Cosine deals with the horizontal displacement, which is x divided by the radius r. Again, in the unit circle, since the radius is 1, it would make cosine the x coordinate. Tangent deals with the slope, meaning rise over run, or y over x. In the unit circle, it would mean tangent is equal to sine over cosine. Quadrantal angles means one of the big four angles, or any angle that has a multiple of 90. It is pretty simple to solve the sine, cosine, and tangent of these quadrantal angles. First, you make coordinates for each one. Since the radius is 1, we simply make coordinates for each one, pretending like it's a graph that only stretches out by 1. So, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, negative 1, 0, and 0, negative 1. Remember these coordinates are x, y, or cosine, sine, meaning if you were asked to find sine of, let's say, 180 degrees or pi radians, it would simply be 0. Or let's say cosine of 270 degrees or 3 pi over 2 radians, it would be 0. If you were asked to find tangent of a quadrantal angle, so let's say 90 degrees or pi over 2 radians, we can do this because we know tangent is just sine over cosine or y over x, which would be at pi over 2 radians, 1 over 0, which is undefined because you can't divide anything by 0. Of course, if the radius was something else, else like 3, you would just simply change the quadrantal coordinate points to be 3 instead of 1. Okay, on the screen now are some AP style questions for this topic. Pause now. I'll put the work and answers on the screen now. I will see you in the next one!